Hello, I wanted a variable range power supply for a while. I even built one using good old LM317, but it wasn't very efficient. Therefore I have decided to build a new one using switch mode voltage regulator from Amazon that can supply up to 5 amps and 50 volts. It even has constant current mode and that could be useful when testing out circuits or charging batteries. In the package there was also a diode that is recommended for use with inductive loads on the output. To build this thing we need voltage regulator mentioned earlier, two diodes, one for reverse polarity protection for the input of the regulator and one for the inductive loads on the output. Then we need an enclosure, I use the plastic box that comes with the GoPro camera, DC plug, 12 volts fan for cooling, 12 volts voltage regulator for the fan, switch, two binding posts and finally some cables and AC to DC power supply. I used one from the old notebook rated for 16 volts and 3 amps. First, I started with preparation of my enclosure. I printed templates for the front and back panels. Front panel will have voltage regulator with a display, switch and two binding posts. Back panel is for fan and the DC plug. Then I attached templates to the enclosure and started drilling. Afterwards, I cut a hole with the knife. To make cutout smoother, I used the rotary tool. As you can see, the finished product is not as precise as with CNC for example, but it is definitely good enough. I repeated the same process for the back panel. With the enclosure ready, I began to connect everything together. Connection from the power supply goes through the diode and then to the switch. From there it is split to the voltage regulator and the fan. As you can see fan is not connected directly to the power supply. I used LM340 T12 to get 12 volts for the fan, but you can use any other 12 volt voltage regulator. For example, very popular one is LM7812. It is necessary to mention here that the higher the voltage from DC power supply, the more heat will the voltage regulator for the fan produce. Therefore it is best to stick with low current fans. For example, mine is weighted 0.07 amps. On the other side of the switch is the voltage regulator with a display that is then connected to the two binding posts. I used included Schottky diode here. The first one is just regular silicon diode rated for 5 amps. When making connections, I recommend using shrink wrap to prevent shorts. It is also better looking than electrical tape. 12 volts voltage regulator is glued directly to the fan, so it is going to be out of the way. And here you can see two binding posts with the diode already soldered.
In the end, we have a finished variable power supply. Here you can see demonstration of constant current regulation. I set it up for 0.05 amps and this place shows little less than that. But I checked the current draw with my multimeter and it was exactly as I set it up, 0.05 amps. That is all, thank you for watching.